Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is going to be the British monarchy. Is it going to survive? We're going to talk about uh, King Charles III. We're talking about uh, Prince William becoming king and Prince George becoming king. And maybe just a um, another look in on uh, Kate Middleton, Princess Catherine. So hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Well, the question is, what's going to happen to the monarchy? So we'll do um, just some quick uh, pulls on that. We'll see uh, if we think there's going to be some difference. Um, uh, some situations come up between uh, now and when uh, Prince William takes over. And, uh, and see if there's going to be something left for William and George uh, to use in the long run. So, it's interesting. I mean, it seems like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong so far for the uh, monarch. So, but before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Charles. I mean, what a horrific thing to find out and then um, and, and to be so public. But I, I guess all their lives have been so public. But uh, so we want to know George, uh, George, Prince Charles, is anything going to happen that's uh, going to cause him not to leave a monarchy for William to take over? Three cards to begin with. Let's see what we get here. So, Prince Charles, King Charles. So, it's a huge bundle of issues, uh, actions, plans, forward movement, and this guy can barely get it forward, but he does. Okay, he, do, he is moving forward. So that's a good sign. Second one is that there is celebrations, it's emotional. And the third sign is building something together for public display. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. He's gonna have something left over for, for William to and when the cards are so definite, there's no reason to to dig a little deeper. Um, if I was speaking to you personally, then you can ask me questions, and I would uh, delve into those. Which, by the way, you can always put questions in the comments, and I'll address them. So, now, for William. Is he going to leave something for George? William and George. First card up. Well, it's the sun card. So the sun card is good because this uh, denotes a uh, light shining down and even shows us this little baby here is the benefactor of all that light. So that seems to me to be George. Yes, there's going to be something left over. It's going to be, uh, uh, truth, justice, rules, and law, it's going to be a hard um, situation for William to do. And uh, the King of Pentacles is that, uh, yeah, it's, it's also another confirmation that there will be a valuable king um, on the throne and left, uh, a royal king left for George. So it looks good through Charles and William. Now let's see about George. So Prince George, what's going to happen with Prince George on the throne? That's going to be quite... Of course, none of us will be here to fact check this, will we? Uh, George. One, two, three. What do we have here? George, broken heart, queen of swords, and a big battle. Okay, so George is not going to have an easy time of it. Uh, Prince George, um, the truth, justice, rules of law are going to be obstacles for him. Uh, great consternation. He will be seen as the 
as the even though this is a queen so it just denotes a lesser effective uh, monarch than if he had been uh, than if a king had shown up and depicts all the troubles that George is going to have during that reign but you know this was a roundabout way for me to really talk about Catherine I want to do a full Celtic cross on Catherine and just see what can the cards tell us about her survival one two I want to know is she going to be queen in other words that means is she going to six cards and then I'll do another four uh, at the end of this is she is there going is she going to make it to be queen and they will want to know will she be queen for a long time the single ah oh, a lot of trouble but this has to do with the structure of the monarchy truth justice rules of law truth okay the challenge to that is the uh, monarchy itself the emperor the basis of this whole thing is uh, the major arcana of the lovers card so I'm sorry this is just the two of cups <laughs> sorry about that two of cups, but it still is a similar uh, um, interpretation with a little less oomph in it and that these are uh, going to be uh, partnerships that are made within the monarchy strength is in the past so she's used up any strength that um, that she had to get to that point and in the sky is a magician which is telling us that the monarchy still is has some tools to pull out of their bag to make, keep this happening the uh, six of pentacles is about distribution and uh, this uh, speaks just about how the power is going to be distributed amongst those um, and is it going to go to Catherine? Very self for that question is uh, the Ace of Pentacles, which tells us that she carries an awful lot of weight in this situation. Interesting. Um, the very self of that question is the Fool card, is the new journey. The likely uh, hopes and the fears is uh, that she is a fighter for that value and the outcome is that broken heart so I think she's gonna be there right up until or through at least when George takes over which um, is interesting I want to stay on this question of Catherine is Catherine going to be an old lady when she passes is Catherine going to be an aged woman when she finally passes? That's the question. Is Catherine going to last a good long time? One, two, three. No. Too many issues. And looking at it in another perspective, I guess this would be saying, look, she, uh, I ask the direct question, is she going to be an old lady when she passes? No, there's going to be uh, problems, it's going to be a lot of issues, and looking at it from another perspective, maybe is that for the situation that she finds herself in, it will have been a long life considering what she's dealing with. Will William remarry? Will King William at that time remarry? It's a, it's a, uh, it's a consideration. It's a plan. How to distribute that and the secrets that come out. So will William remarry? Well, yeah, that would be the least important of the royal issues because the page is just getting their foot into the royal court so it doesn't carry much weight but it will be a consideration but not at the top of the heap it's determining how you distribute his value his value toward the people or towards him uh, his personal uh, happiness and then the moon card is all the secrets that finally start to be revealed as a result of, of the fact presumed fact that he may need to remarry and I think what we're going to do here is do two cards 
Prince William or King William remarrying because they have to build something for public display. It will be victorious. Okay, so although there will be issues uh, towards that, eventually he will find someone else and it will bring value back to the monarchy. George, King George. So that will be the future little boy, Prince George, as king. Will his reign be a successful one? Will King George, who is now Prince George, will his reign be a successful one? Well, continuing to build the monarchy, so that's good. And a whole new monarchy, and he will be the star of that reinvention. So yeah, Prince uh, King George at that time will be a, a successful king, not without his problems. Now what happened is I did another video on this subject and uploaded it, and it ended up uploading with no pictures whatsoever, only sound, so I couldn't uh, use it. I've had to do this video as a replacement, it's not the same questions exactly or even close and it's, this is a little more and it's rushed and I apologize but I have to do this in a very limited amount of time I have to put a video together at the last minute and I deeply deeply apologize it really pains me when these uh, technical uh, issues happen and I have to learn to back up my file so I have something to work with and then I could have uh, reestablished that old video but anyway Listen, thank you all for hanging in there. You don't know how much it means to me. I do these videos just as a hobby and because I like doing it and I hope you enjoy them. So hang in there, guys, and uh, I'll promise I'll be more careful with my video uploads in the future. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this is one of my all-time favorite uh, decks. So this is the Smith Waite uh, Tarot Deck, the Centennial Edition. And um, there's two boxes here, and I'll explain what happened. Is uh, when I was ordering uh, uh, this uh, deck, um, I think I, I think it was Amazon. I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, it wasn't clear that that one of the things I was ordering was just a deck of cards, and the other thing I was ordering was a commemorative set. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about them separately. So the cards themselves are terrific. So these are, as you may have heard me say, if you've watched some of my videos and watched me use these cards, uh, these cards are the um, supposed to be the uh, most true to the original artwork of Pamela Coleman Smith. This is her initial, Pamela Coleman Smith. Uh, th these are the closest to her original artwork or interpretation that she and um, and uh, uh, Wait uh, came to agreements on for the way the, they would be depicted. Before I turn these over, I'm going to tell you. So one of the things I love about cards is when you, there's something special you can use the cards for, a special way you can identify with the cards that's only secret to you. Maybe I shouldn't like that, but I do like that. For instance, uh, these cards, you can tell from the back of these cards whether they are upright or whether they are inverted before you flip them over. And here's how. In this uh, little um, flourish here, uh, it's almost a rose in a rose. It reminds me a little bit of the Tudor rose, but it's, it's not quite that. But uh, if you are looking at this card, the back of this card, and you see this little leaf is, is sort of pointing in front of this signature, then you know that this card, when you flip it over, is going to be upright. However, if you see that the leaf is pointing behind the signature, you know that this card is going to be inverted. So see, at quick glance, it's not very obvious to you. But once you look at it for a minute and you know that secret, now you know what's going to happen when you turn this card over. So let's use an example. This one is pointing um, before the signature, so we can see that this card is in the upright position. This one is pointing after the signature, and you can see that it's in the inverted position. So, so there you go. Now, the cards themselves are great. I mean, I love the coloring of the cards. They've got kind of a, a grayish, um, a brownish gray overtone, almost a misty, kind of a London fog kind of a feel to the overall. It's like someone painted the cards and then went back and did a treatment on them to make them look kind of... So I'm not, I don't know if that's how Pamela Coleman Smith uh, created the art. I haven't seen her original art for this, obviously. Um, I'm sure some people have. But um, but that's what's great about these cards. It kind of gives them a built-in patina. It's not real. You know, it's fake, but it still makes them nice and mystical. 
And so uh, that's what's interesting about these cards. Now, the uh, at first I was disappointed that I had ordered two um, sets of the same cards, but then um, I understood that it was a good thing. And I'll show you why that is. Okay, so now this is the commemorative set of the Pat McCollum Smith uh, artist of the Rider Waite Tarot deck, uh, featuring the Smith Waite Tarot Centennial Edition deck, which is this. So uh, it comes in this amazing, amazing container. I mean, I can't even really call it a box. It's, it's like a beautiful showcasing a lifetime of artwork by Cam Pamela Coleman Smith. And um, so it's really cool. And wait till you see how it works. So you open this treasure chest up and you've got this beautiful uh, finish here. And you've got wonderful little tabs where you can pull back the, uh, the covers and see what's inside. And what is inside is a, a pack of the cards. Uh, and in truth, what's happened is um, these were the cards that were wrapped up inside this box. And uh, these cards uh, came in that box. But um, I got this first. And so I wanted to use the cards. So I opened it up. And oh, look at that. And I don't like that. This has to be tucked down in there. So there's a couple things that aren't perfect. But uh, so I took the cards out of here, opened them up, started using them. And then the other cards came and I realized, oh, well, I can make this a complete set if I put these in here. What's in here? Of course, you have the cards. And uh, then you have a nice little bag uh, to keep them in if, uh, if that's how you're going to keep your cards. And so many people do. But uh, I've just chosen to try to leave these cards in kind of a pristine condition. And then on this side is where all the treasure happens. The first thing you have is this booklet, The Artwork and Times of Pam Coleman Smith, Artist of the Tarot, Tarot of the Rider Waite Tarot Deck by Stuart R. Kaplan and Lynn uh, Arjo, I suppose. So this is who wrote this book. In this book, it tells you all about, uh, you know, not all about, but it's, 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 it's a very good information about Pamela Coleman Smith. It's a lot of her art that's not related to tarot and explanations of how that art came to be. I mean, this is just a fascinating book, and I love it. I love it a lot. So there's that. The next thing that was in here, are, these are actually postcards. Okay, so these are postcards, and all of these are the art of Pamela Coleman Smith. So, uh, and then this book talks about these postcards and why they come to be, and they all have a very interesting uh, story. So, which I won't go into now, but if you think you'd like to know, you should order these cards. So, very interesting uh, stuff here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next thing you're going to get is you get some uh, larger pieces that uh, this is Pamela Coleman Smith, who I understand like to be called Pixie uh, as a nickname, and she's a lovely person. This um, is uh, someone that she knew, a, a stage uh, actress at the time. And, um, and there's even a little uh, message down here. The, the name of this person is Mistress Page. And then you are, a, you are Mary, so am I, ha ha, uh, Ellen Terry. So uh, I'm not sure now, but the, the book explains all of this to you. Then you get, uh, this is an example of just some black and white work she done for, for, I don't know what, it doesn't tell you on here, but it does tell you in the book. And then this is some more examples of what she might have done for playbills or uh, other way. You know, artists have to make a living, so they use their talent of making art to uh, sell and, and do other things. So love, love, love everything that came with this. And um, amazing. Now, the final thing, and I've, I've lost the little uh, ribbon, but also this uh, has a ribbon here that, that helps you pull everything out, which is so smart and so good. I don't know who thought of it first, but it's a great uh, use of that. And then you have here the actual uh, pictorial key to the tarot. So some of you may have seen me using uh, this book, which is the pictorial key to the tarot by weight. And uh, so this is just another uh, representation of that, but just in a different book. And it all comes in here. The one thing that you're missing here, I don't think the cards are in this book. No, the pictures of the cards uh, aren't in here, but it's terrific. Everything else is true to that first book. Uh, this one, however, which I bought separate from an uh, online bookstore, uh, does have uh, depictions of the cards in it, as you can see. So that's very useful to use that all the time. So very handy to have. And then finally, like so many of these uh, decks, this gives you some uh, examples of some spreads you can use and how you might read them. And so everything, everything, everything about this, um, this package uh, is exactly um, the best that you want to get in a, in a, in a gift. I've got, this is the one little misgiving here. Maybe I'll, I'll work on that later. But um, so nice. 
So that's been the tour of these cards. And I hope you've enjoyed it.